Hi everybody, Al on the case again today. Today we're going to take this window out and we're going to get a set of patio doors in its place. It's going to be quite a job, but we'll take you through it step by step, starting with getting the window out. We'll start with taking these seals out around the edges, taking all the edge on edgy bits off here, and we'll see if we can find the screws and get the window out. Okay. Take these covers off, and this is where the screws are, holding the frame back. It'll be all the way round. Just take these little clips out, and then we get these off. Make sure there's two of you, one inside, one outside, when the frame does come out, because it's quite heavy. Okay, so we get these out. I'll clean that one out up there. On the foot Yeah, I've got to get them out. Right, there we go. Right, we're just scraping off the silicon strip now that's underneath, holding it in, making it waterproof. Okay, as you can see, we're starting to get to the nitty gritty now. Got the seal off, we've got the trims off. We'll shortly be on our way. Okay, we just uh, unscrew the hinges, just make it a bit lighter to take it out by undoing the brackets here and taking this bit off. So now we've got a bit of the weight out of the way, we've got the maximum frame to go. I've undone most of the screws now, just a couple left in, uh, ready to come out. Once this one is out, then we can start chopping them all out. So get this down out of the way. Having to cut all the mastic out. They've got loads of mastic in it to hold it in place. That's all we cut out. Now we've cleared all around our window frame now. As you can see the gaps through. We're having this wall out, so it doesn't matter how much we knock out down here. Um, and she's ready to go now. There just seems to be one screw in the middle there. That's all there was. Uh, there's probably one up that side there on the right, but we're not going to bother hacking it out. We'll just pull out now because we can lever the frame out from the left-hand side where there was two or three screws that weren't doing anything. But there you go. Uh, so the next bet is getting it out. Okay, we're now taking out the, the window. Shall we go to the end? Head down so far with this angle grind mark because I'm not sure quite where the floor level is coming through. But we will need to cut this to get a smooth cut through here to use the angle grinder. So I'm afraid this is the best tool for the job. That's right. Okay, we've just cut two slots down the outside where this is going to go, and then we'll be able to chip the straight line and get this out. I thought we'll cut the skirt in also in a minute, which we'll do in a second. Start on the old wall now, get rid of this. You can do it a block at a time, it's easier. Come down the block lines and just get each one moving. Once you get moving, you'll be all right, and they'll come down. Keep going right down the floor level. When we get down below there, we'll cut through the skirt and get it down level. This has all got to be done before, but you can see the nitty gritty now. We've got bricks on the outside, a bit of filling, we've got the old insulation in the middle. We've got to cut right down clean. I've cut down clean with the angle grinder to get a nice line. Uh, we've just got to keep on chopping now, really. Okay, Toto, will you give us a hand? Well, uh, there's a picture of our opening. We're, uh, we're all bashed out now. So we're sort of kind of ready for the doors to go in now. Um, yeah, I've cut my grooves right down. I'm going to cut that rendering off probably, but uh, as I'm going to deck the gap outside, um, it's not too much of a worry for me. So, so we're, we're waiting on the doors now. We're waiting for them to be delivered, and uh, next step, put them in. Here is the, uh, the inside view. I always ask myself, why is it always a sunny hot day when you're doing a job like this and it's straight on your back but that's building work for you okay we're at the next stage um, I've just chopped through there to get the seal in which sits on the bottom and as you can see I've slid it into the depth there. it's just on that last piece of brickwork there the main bit because the door sits on the outside I've chopped through there and around as you can see and then just slotted the seal in Right, 
Okay, we've lifted the doors in, and um, there we are, they're in position. Um, it was a tight bit of a squeeze, but we, uh, we managed to lift it up in between the gap there that we've got. Um, tight fit, the hardest bit is getting it over that lip there. You can see that there? That lip has to go in a groove on the back of the door. If you don't get that in, you haven't got them in right. And once you get that in, then you've actually got to square the doors up. But you must get that over that lip, and it is one of probably the hardest bits of the job. Okay, we're going to foam around the outside, all the gaps of the door now. Not too much, because we don't want the frame to be pushed out, because we haven't got the glass in yet. Which is just literally a holding spray for now, until we do do the screw. So, we're just going to squirt some up the iron. for the frame door in. Uh, there's wedges you can use this to get this square, but it won't always square up without them. So you've got to put wedges in the bottom. We also need them up the side, we won't know until we've squared it up in there and see what gaps we've got. In actual fact, because we, we went by that one, we've actually got this one dead right, do you believe? <laughs> so that's good. Do you want to show the wedges? Um, yeah, the wedges. Right, there they are. <laughs> there's the wedges. <coughs> Different thicknesses for different height to get the glass square up the side because you want it nice and square. There is a fraction of a gap this side, but Rob, I don't know when we might need to. I think we might want one more on that side there because there's a tiny gap up this side here. So push it through to me and then I'll lift that edge up where Rob slides the, the wedge in. Now the green one's come through. Uh, the white one's come out now. He's a tricky biggie. Okay, now we're in. Right, that's better. Now we've got the same gap both sides. That's it. And now we're ready to fit our trims in. As you can see, don't walk away and leave this bit, it'll just fall out. <laughs> there we go, just sucking the wedges in up the top here. Yeah. Get them in square. To get them in, you're going to need a blip of wood just to tap them in. See it there? Don't break the glass. Actually, you've not gone in wrong. I don't know why that is. If you square on, yeah. Let's try it. Get my hand first. Doesn't feel like it's right back in the slot this time. Right. It does this side. Maybe you ought to start this side. Start this side there. Yeah. That probably looks right. gap being taken up, as Rob hits the plastic in, it's going up into that gap and we're fitted to there. And that now will hold it in place while we put the other ones up. Okay, I'll shut the bits on the floor. <laughs> okay, first thing, this is one of our door hinges, there's three on each side. Uh, the first thing, if you want to adjust the door up and down in height, you take this little out the bottom here and you'll need an allen key like this and up inside there is an allen key now when you adjust these if you want to adjust them up you've got to do each hinge no more probably than a couple of turns each if you try to force one up without the other they'll just jam in the end because that one will need adjusting or the bottom one will need adjusting so start at the bottom adjust it twice maybe the next one up adjust it twice and so on now that's the secret, they are awkward to do, there's this very tiny little space, but I've got it in there. There's, there's it, I can turn it there. I've already adjusted mine up, but the thing I haven't done now is adjusted them inwards and outwards. Okay everybody, we're at the final stages of adjusting these patio doors. The job's nearly finished, we've fitted a threshold in the bottom. Um, 
it's just a matter of a 9mm spanner. Um, just a cheap old one, get it anywhere, as long as it's fairly thin. And it fits in here on that nut there. And we can turn it in and out. On this side it's down to adjust it out, on the other side it's up. I've already adjusted these now. So it should be nice and level when we shut the doors now. I've adjusted the height of the Allen key up in there on each trim. We should be about ready to go, so we'll show the final thing on the outside now. Finished job. Um, gap now should be the same between the doors, all the way down, and also down here, they should be level, which means the top will be level. Um, and that means you've got them about right, as long as the catches are working okay. So now we're going to fly the doors open, just to show that everything is, is about right. I mean, so we'll pick the door, and here we are, and uh, there we are. Pop that door, pop that one, and uh, all fit. Till next time, next video, see you again.